Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and Unity just made a change that I think many of you are not going to like. It's not actually a huge deal, as I will explain in just a second, but at first it sounds terrible, and at second I'm going to show you how you can work around it anyways. So what exactly have they done? Well, they updated the Unity Hub. Well, those jerks. Well, no, I know, this is something they do all the time, but let's go ahead and show you what has changed. So here I am creating a new project. I can pick a template, nice new UI going on here. I go ahead and name my project all your... Bases are belong to Doug. All right, so I've named my project, I put it in a location, and now I say I do not want it to use Unity Cloud. Oh, ah, oh, wait, maybe I gotta scroll down. No, no, it's not that. Yeah, that's what they did. They got rid of the ability to create offline projects. Yeah, and I know a lot of people are like thinking, okay, that sucks, but it's not actually as bad as you think. All this is doing is registering the project online. This is, uh, again, probably not what you want for a lot of people. I know I come in all the time, especially because I create all kinds of disposable projects, just like this, all your bases are belong to Doug. It's not something I'm going to want to keep around forever. Well, what this has done is registered it with Unity Cloud. So let's head on over there. All right, here we go. So this is my account. You can see here, all your bases are belong to Doug is right there at the top. And as you can see, there are a number of these. And unfortunately, there are going to be a number of these for a very long time uh, because you, you can't, there's no delete. <laughs> Nothing. I go to settings. Uh, the best I can do is archive it. So if you're one of those people that does not particularly enjoy having things stick around, well, sucks to be you because it is going to be there forever. Now, what they're saying, and I'll get back to their um, their description in just a second, uh, but what they're saying is it's just basically creating an ID for all of your projects uh, and stores it in the cloud. Now, one of those things that you can actually do once this project completes, because of course, this is one of the things that everyone loves about Unity. It creates projects super fast. So I think, I think we're ready. All right, there we go. So our project is now fully complete. We're good to go. Otherwise, the project has stayed exactly the same. But what I can do is I can go over to the Unity Hub. I can find all your bases already belong to Doug. And you're going to find here it is using cloud. Uh, so I should be able to go ahead and disconnect from the Unity Cloud. And then boom, it's gone. So you do not need to keep it hooked up to the cloud. So it's basically the annoyance of this is it's mostly just going to create one extra step for everyone involved. Kinda, because now what I'm going to do is head on back over here to the cloud now that I disconnected it and we'll do a reload and uh, it should be gone, right? Right? No, no, it's not gone. So uh, it will stay here in your projects, cluttering them up uh, for basically ever. And if you wanna go ahead and get rid of it, the best you can do right now is to archive it. So that is irritating. So now it's gone over here and it's over in my archive category and there's no way to get rid of it forever. So if you created a project, now there is going to be a fingerprint or a footprint of that project literally forever. So every project you ever create from now on with Unity, unless they walk this one back, because I think they should go back to the way it was with opt-in. Uh, they've got excuses for why they did this. I just don't particularly buy them. I don't necessarily agree with what they've said. So that is what they have changed. The good news is there is another workaround, and this is actually something I'm going to explore myself. So this is, again, the Unity Hub. And the Unity Hub is just here to install versions of Unity and to create new projects. Did you know there is an alternative hub available? It is this guy over here called Unity Hub Native. Now, will this break into your computer and steal all your data and then cheat on your wife? I don't know. So uh, don't, don't trust me particularly on this one. Just know that it exists. And I did antivirus scans on it and it was fine, but I did not give it my key or anything, but it's been around for a very long time. So this is like a five-year-old project here. Uh, it's getting updated pretty constantly. The, the last release was three weeks ago. So what exactly is this one all about? Well, this brings down a little two uh, megabyte uh, zip file. You can see in action right here. And what you can do is create projects. So you create a new project over here. Um, you can manage your install. So when you first load this one up, by the way, you're gonna have to come in here and add the location of your Unity installs. So in my case, C program files, Unity hub editor, and then it finds all of the various different versions immediately after you do that. So there's the various different versions. And now if you wanna create a new project, you can use this lightweight project to create them. And then basically all your other bases like so, give it a location, which of course would be Sequel and slash. I'm not going to bother doing it. Uh, you can pick the version you wish to use over here, and then you can pick a template. So I believe 3D, uh, this would be 
Um, I actually, I'm not 100% certain here. This would be HDRP, I'm guessing, and this would be Yerp, uh, but then there's no ability for built-in. So I don't know specifically how their templates work compared to the other version, but this enables you to use and create projects without having to touch the Unity Hub at all, which will result in them not creating a cloud ID for your project, which is nice. So there is a discussion going on. This happened the end of last week that this came out. Um, the, again, pretty big redesign on the whole. Um, menu, like the, the Unity Hub in general, got a pretty big facelift here. But the big thing here is that you, you they got rid of that. They got rid of probably the most important button. I clicked every project, which is the don't use cloud. So again, nice to see them updating the hub. Downside is cloud is being forced and there is no way to permanently delete that cloud ID once done. Now, as I mentioned, a developer uh, who I actually know personally from Unity has um, commented on this thread he, late last night. He made some comments. So he agrees about the clutter, delete option will be coming. Uh, so that thing that I hate about the cloud, about the fact that you can't delete things, uh, they are going to fix that. So you should, in theory, I hopefully it'll be right here, just a delete button right there, makes this a little bit more palatable. I really don't like droppings like this, leftovers. Uh, so that is one thing he's commented on. Uh, and then he says, uh, really, that's not it at all. This is related to the new data controls launched with the latest beta. Uh, access to the controls is in the dashboard, which requires a cloud ID to be associated with a project. Uh, 6.2 beta release announced an um, announcement and features kind of went through what those new data controls are going to be. These are actually clarifying, clarifying that, you know, the worst case scenario isn't actually happening, that they're not really training on your stuff for their AI. So they're, they're actually being a little bit more transparent going forward about how um, their cloud access works. Uh, but this, they're saying, is required for that. I, I don't know why that would be the case. If you're not using the cloud at all, it should still be opt-out. I don't know why they're forcing this on people. I do disagree with that. Uh, and then agree about the clutter. Change isn't about pushing more users or stock prices or anything. The new data controls and diagnosis are located in the dashboard and need a cloud ID associated with it. So this change really only creates and associates a cloud ID by default so you can utilize the tools. Again, I just think it should be opt-in like it was before. And then, so our users have told us many times that they want a ton of visibility into data Unity can collect and how we can use it. So we collected the new data framework that launched in the latest beta. That would be Unity 6.2, by the way. Framework gives you control and the settings for it are in the dashboard. Um, this requires a cloud ID to be associated with the project, which is why this is auto-connected. Nothing is being stored online or anything. It is simply there so you can control over your project settings. Um, and yeah, that's that's kind of the feedback we got on it. I. I don't get why, like if it's completely client side, like I think there should be a checkbox there that says, make this local only and screw all your cloud stuff. I think that would make people a lot happier. And then you make, if you don't check that one, it automatically creates a cloud ID, much better, much, much better. And regardless, at the end of the day, they need that delete button ASAP because I really hate that this, or at least just purge archived, something like that, because this fills up very, very fast. And I have a ton of different installs of Unity under different accounts. So I probably would have, you know, seven or 800 active projects if you kept all of them over time. Uh, so I really do hope that you get that out there soon. By the way, if you do not like this, there is the Unity Hub native alternative so you can get rid of the hub completely and use something much more lightweight. So that is an option that's out there. Again, I don't uh, confess towards the safety of this. If you guys have used it in the past, please do let others know in the comments down below if you found it safe or not. So ladies and gentlemen, that is the, the latest news. Unity are forcing you to use the cloud ID, but it's very minimal you can unhook it and eventually you should be able to delete it. All right, that's it. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.